Pilots are always looking for ways to improve the handling and performance of their airplanes. AOPA Pilot Senior Editor Dave Hirschman shows us how he got a dramatic improvement in stall speed in his van's RV4 with Vortex generators. The next best thing to being able to fly fast is being able to fly slower, safely. And these, uh, these little metal tabs are called Vortex generators and they make tiny little horizontal tornadoes that allow the airplane to fly at a higher angle of attack and a slower airspeed so that it stalls slower. These Vortex generators are a kit that comes from a company called Micro Aerodynamics. And they supply the kit and the template and everything that's needed to install them. The templates are already made. You don't have to do a lot of measuring. You just lay out the templates on the wing. It shows you where to, where to attach the Vortex generators and then you just glue them on. These are both for certificated airplanes and experimental airplanes. This was done under the supervision of an of a a and mechanic and it took us a couple hours on a Sunday afternoon and I uh, flew in the morning to get some baseline measurements, um, laid out the kit, installed it, and then flew again in the afternoon and the airplane was much changed. That the, Normally the wing would stall at about 16 degrees angle of attack. And uh, with the Vortex generators, that number is over 20. The RV has a pretty gentle and benign stall characteristics to begin with. And I was concerned that adding Vortex generators might change that. Um, in fact, it's, it's really improved the stall characteristics because it still stalls straight ahead just like it used to, but it gives a little more aerodynamic warning, a little more buffeting before the stall break actually happens. The angle of attack is increasing, the airspeed is slowing, yet the uh, tufts remain pressed hard against the top of the wing. But watch closely as the stall takes place, they separate right now, all at once. And the spin characteristics have not been changed by the vortex generators. The only difference is that the stall happens at a higher angle of attack and a higher pitch attitude. But once the spin develops, it's just the same as it was before. And there is absolutely no reduction in cruise speed as a result of adding the Vortex generators. The cost of the kits varies quite a lot depending on the, uh, the size and complexity of the airplane and whether it's experimental or certified. This, uh, this kit cost a little under $400. And the difference in how the airplane flies is astonishing.